Good morning, evening, or afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose. Today, after the major update, we are going to explore some of its key functions in this video. So, for all those that are wondering, we are on Yawning Ways account. Arms race is probably coming to an end. I don't know how I ranked. How did I rank? Did I rank in the top five? I did not. <laughs> I did not rank in the top five of this server. But that's all right. I think I still got a chest, which makes sense. I didn't spend any money, uh, which I don't mind not doing anyway. If you already caught our previous power up video, I used some of those chests anyway. Um, so did we get another one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we got the gold merit selection chest. Too easy. No thought about that one at all. Maybe we'll activate that one. Why not? Let's just activate these ones, eight, no, 10. We'll use the 10 frame. I like the 10 frame. Where's the seasonal frames though? That looks pretty cool. Um, Event box. I mean, it's just little things like this that you kind of go, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and I don't know why they keep, you know, <laughs> stacking up in my thing. Oh, I don't, I feel like we should just be able to, um, chuck them all together and accumulate and create like a mega frame that lasts forever. But either way, I have massively sidetracked from the purpose of this video. I feel like the main update is going to be Wish Shop. You know, you all thought that I was going to say the new generation heroes, but no. I'm going to say the Wish Shop because, as you can probably tell, you're going to be able to accumulate all these lovely things. I actually don't really need necessarily these engraving crystals. I am curious about this though. So it is a selection chest. So I reckon that's pretty mandatory. Um, accessory stones. And I would have to strongly recommend uh, go for the soul forge steel. Because you're going to need a bucket load later on to feed into the next tier. And then feed into the tier after that. For, you, for those that don't know, I believe the superior tier is pretty damn expensive to get. So I'm going to go with those ones, but I'm pretty happy that every day we are going to have a chance to get some free training pills and, of course, some free beast pills for those that are using them. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the Wishing Stone is still sitting at 50. Would have been nice if they gave us 100, but that's okay as well. I don't think they've added anything additionally here because there is no new content features. But I will say this, I was excited when I looked. I was like, you know what, that's pretty damn cool. Now, I know you could probably only buy three of these a day, and it is pretty expensive at 200 of these wishing coins. So you're probably thinking, is it worth it, PB? Short answer, no. Short answer is no. This will be something that I would invest in later on, and I'll show you what I think you should be investing in in a second. But for those that are curious, I probably wouldn't go with the, the three a day for 200. I'm going to show you a little bit why. Um, but the Heavenly Sword, eh, if you need to build a Heavenly Sword, that is actually a better investment than going for the Mythic Charms. But of course, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that these are, of course, going to be available in the rebate function. I don't know if they've updated it. Let me, can I even find it? Can I find it? Can you show me it? <laughs> I don't know. They eventually are going to add the Mythic Sword to here for gold. So keep that in mind. And of course, you can buy Mythic Shards for gold here as well. So would I spend the Wishing Stones on Mythic Shards? No, not, not for the heroes at least. If you're very, very close to uh, building it though, like if you're 10 shards away, just remember, that's pretty expensive as well. Did they update anything in the shop to include the new Mythic? They didn't. Interesting. Because there are actually some Mythic uh, books that came out. Oh, very odd. Very, very, very odd. All right, let me just keep going through. God's Blessing will appear for those that want to wail a little bit. Uh, I will say, though, you can get a full charm if you do buy all packages for around 250 uh, Australian dollars, which is around... 200 American dollars <laughs> if you actually want to build a full mythic charm that is pretty much how you're going to be able to do it I would not recommend getting these these two I feel like they're going to appear in arms race at some point I would say that heavenly cloud is going to be the hardest one to acquire mainly because everyone has wave breaker 
But if you are curious, I guess, and you do want to spend, uh, there is the option for that. Interestingly enough, I'd say that these tactics here probably are going to go into the new mythic tactics. I really don't know if it's because at higher levels you'll need them to level them up further. I suspect that's what's going to be required. So I assume the game is going to give it to us in the Celebrate Festival. It's probably going to give us as a option to spend real money on um, before they actually release it into the game function themselves. So if you're impatient and you want to build them, you're probably going to need them. Now, arms race, did we talk about this? No, but I should probably grab this anyway. Let's grab that, grab that. Probably did talk about it. <laughs> it is the last day, so make sure you spend all of your drums. If you ranked up, you ranked up. If you didn't, that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. I'm going to save the gold merit because I don't really need to spend it on anything at the moment. Let's go back to the wish shop. So the wish shop essentially is going to give us some additional transformation charms. And before you ask me, is there, is there anything that you must buy? No, there's not really anything that you have to buy. But the beauty of it is that you are going to be able to expand some of your index score instead of using paper charms and paper charm shards with the transformation event. Is there anything that I can buy? Liao Zhang. I don't feel like the game is ever going to give me something that, nah. Ah, oh, game, come on. Wei Yan. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So you can, in fact, do Wei Yan and then you can do this guy. Oh my gosh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> Jang Wei, I got you confused with Wei Yan. My bad, my dude. I was a little bit excited there. I was like, you know, maybe they, maybe they did us a solid. Maybe they finally did us a solid, but it does not look like that. I'm obsessive. I'm just going to go through all of them and check, but it does not look like that is going to be the case. For those that are wondering, um, this right here, these epic transformation charms are what will make or break your team in end game PVP. Because when you add the indexes, you will get additional either PVP damage or you'll get PVP defense. Everything else is not that important. Um, the power-up isn't really that fantastic. What you're doing it for is that additional 10% damage increase and damage reduction. And I can attest that Denial is head over heels. I'm sure he's like a giddy little boy right about now, being able to purchase out some more transformation charms. But unfortunately, and I say this, unfortunately it looks like you still need to waste your paper charm shards when transformation event is out, if you want to max out that index. As for the titles, this is probably where I'm going to buy all of them <laughs> because they are just going to give me so much of a power boost. I actually think I'm going to buy every single one. So let's um, let's stand here. Let's look. So we're at 181 billion. 81 billion. Uh, we'll just call it 81 billion here. I don't mean to nick pit. I'm not going to nick pit. Let's speak English though. So war God is coming soon. This one seems to be 3% attack. What about this one? Raw statistics, raw statistics, raw statistics. Okay. All right. Let's just start with the little ones. Happy new year. Let's buy you. And we'll get a power up. Let's keep going. Destined to love. Ooh, that was like a Valentine's Day. Now, if everyone's probably thinking like the power up isn't that fantastic, it is pretty good when you get to the percentage ones. Spring outing, very cool. Is there actually some percentage ones? 10k attack. All right, let's go. Cloud of power. I like this. Untroubled. Untroubled. All right, all right. All right, I'll take that. Untrouble. Let's just take that. Happy Rat New Year. So this is the new year for the year of the rat. I don't know if I was born in the year of rat. I can't really, I don't know that one. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if you know which uh, celestial calendar year you were born in. Single and Noble. And last but not least, and we did get like 100 million power there. Was Spice. Ooh, we're climbing up. We're climbing up. Let's go. That looks sick. That looks sick. I'm not going to lie. That looked pretty badass. 100k HP, 50k attack. Come on, let's go. We're getting into the big one soon. 100k mythical. I do like that. That is pretty cool as well. 
Let's go. We still have plenty of these ones. Let's purchase the God Slayer. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to give me a, some percent base. God Slayer, that's a pretty cool title. Ooh, 1.6. 1.6, all right. So we've got a couple hundred million out of it. Now the all plus 3%. This one is probably the one that's worth it the most. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd say we went up about 700 million just from buying these titles. Let's go ahead and purchase this one. And of course, this is the creme of the crop. All plus attack, HP and defense. War God, absolutely recommend buying this one. Let's see how far we go up. Very nice. So literally by buying all of these titles, we went up the equivalent of a mythic beast. <laughs> that is pretty good. That is pretty good. So if you have been saving up your wish stones, obviously you don't need to get all the little ones. We just grab those ones because why not? But I'd say the big three would be War God and Grand Celebration. God Slayer is pretty nice for the attack buff. Is that attack or HP? Um, HP, HP, and sort of work your way down the list. But that is certainly worth the investment. Uh, I will go ahead and grab those stamina pills because, of course, they are worth that time of investment as well. You can never not have enough stamina. But like I said, we got through most of that, which is fantastic. We did manage to get ourselves a billion power just from this update. The other thing that I will say is story instance. Um, I have not pushed it yet. Obviously, I'm lazy, but they have unlocked a new set of chapters. I don't think I even show you. Can I show you in, where is it? Dynasty Scrolls. Will it let me? No, it will not. Will not let me. But I know there's a third star. So you can get a three star mythic, which means there's another 20 chapters, uh, which is pretty damn cool. Or 20 stages, I should say. Um, I think that's pretty much it for that in terms of updates outside of it. I would say this is probably the biggest one. I'm pretty damn happy with that one. Pretty excited about that. Now let's get into the nitty gritty for what most players are looking for. My initial reaction to our additional teams, which is of course going to be the generation four. For those that are wondering, the rare becomes the mythic. <laughs> which is pretty damn cool. Sharpie is kind of what everyone has been waiting for in terms of control heroes. He's probably going to be the bee's knees for all transformations early game before they get taken over by Hao Tao, I want to say. The Gen 6 for Warlord is the next best one that whales use on Korean and Chinese, but a lot of players still use Sharpie. So he is, of course, going to be talked about first. Uh, magic damage reduces their damage increase. Of course, they always have a debuff. Way Nation is well known for that. Paralysis. Mmm. 40% chance to inflict paralysis for one round. If target has a control status, deal extra true damage equal to 12% of target's max HP. All allies gain 20% damage reduction as well. Hmm, so control status and shall P go together like a PB and J for all the Americans in the chat. <laughs> I feel like this is something we need to watch. Oh yeah, one round paralysis and he hits everyone. Wow, you're going to be my slot one. You are so broken. You are so broken. Cannot move, cannot be removed, takes additional damage. You are slot one and Dank Stash is slot two. Uh, or for this, it is going to be you are slot one and Papa Chu is slot two. And of course, War God can probably still stay at fifth because I want as many debuffs out for this Shu Nation or Shu Wei Nation um, just to maximize the damage. What about this though? This is your ultimate, yeah? You have a 40% chance again. Wow, your rage skill and your ultimate can paralyze. Okay. When attacking gains Wei's King Presence for two rounds, you start with 50 rage. Uh, okay, so you might need to run the sword on this guy. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Because both your rage ability and your ultimate have a chance to paralyze. You might not need to run the sword, but we'll have to test that. But paralysis just seems so broken. 40% chance. I imagine this guy's going to go up even further with the higher levels. Let's have a look. 
Let's have a look at him at four star because most players will get to him at four star at some point. Um, there's a 45%. Okay, so they're not giving us a guarantee paralysis because that would be so broken. Uh, 50% at um, seven star though. But if you are a way nation, you want to run a double Sharpie. I mean, that pretty much incrementally increases your ability to paralyze. I would get rid of uh, Xiao Xiao for this guy, 100%. Get rid of Xiao, pa Xiao, Xiao Xiao, his father, run Xiao Ji, his daughter, and run Xiao Pi, his son. And I feel like this is probably going to be one of the most broken uh, classes in the game. I am so excited to run this, uh, if you can't already tell. And of course, they have this a passive ability. When attacked, chance to inflict paralysis. That's so broken. This guy's just so broken. I want to. That's disgusting. I'm going to keep. I'm moving on. PB is disgusted right now. I uh, hope he looks better. I hope he I hope he lives up to it because he can have some mad hype on paper and then be disappointed. Another one, of course, is going to be Wei Yan. I've heard great things about him for Shoe Nation. I believe he steals Rage, if I'm not mistaken. So he has a physical attack to the back row. Makes sense. Uh, he deals damage based off HP percentage, and of course, it increases. Um, all allies gain 20% damage increase. Nice, nice. And Sudden Strike, dealing extra damage, absorb two rage, and steal up to two stat buffs. That's pretty big. I feel like my Yawning Way account is just going to go from OP to Mega OP if I run both Wei Yan and Xiao Pi. Um, I'm very, very excited. Let me know. Are you going to run this guy if uh, if you get a chance? I don't feel like he's probably going to be clutch as the MC transformation, though. I'll have to think about that. I really have to think about that because Double Shout P is probably going to be stronger. Um, but he does seem to have this pretty niche ability. Uh, Sudden Strike. When does that activate? Let me Let me read this again. So you inflict Sudden Strike on the back row, and basically you steal any buffs off the back row. Hmm, pretty strong. And of course your ultimate ability, let's have a look. It seems to only target the back row though. So you rage, and you rage reduce, and you steal stats. Unruly Soul, when casting skill for two rounds. Start, oh, can you, can you double cast his ultimate? I want to test that out. I don't want to misread that and misinform you all, but it looks almost like you can double cast his ultimate skill. Unruly soul. Interesting. But Sudden Strike seems to have even more bang for his buck when he does his ultimate. Unruly skull increases damage and damage reduction. Damn, this guy is uh he's a bit of a monster. Look at his passive though. When attacking, 21st when when attack, sorry, his counter ability, 25% chance to remove one control effect from self. Ignore unremovable triggers up to two times per round. Huh. Wei Yan ultimate cast plus one. I am not tripping, am I? I feel like this guy can cast twice. That's that's so cool. Let's look at Wu. Jiang Wei, he looks like an absolute beast. I've seen this guy outperform many DPS on the Korean server. So I am excited for him for my a little free-to-play Wu account. I have been saving tokens just to get this guy specifically. Him and Lu Ming are game changers for Wu. They basically, Wu goes from being average to literally taking over the game after Gen 5. <laughs> but of course, you do need to know that we won't necessarily be nations as such. So we'll talk about that a little bit later as global catches up. But either way, this guy right here ignores Physical defense, pretty good. Damage increase, defense increase. Kind of seems tanky. Let's have a look to see what his Sunfire does. Okay. It looks like he hits three. Four. Is it four or three? Let me have a look to see if you... I'm... I don't know. Let me, let me slow this down a little bit. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause that because it looked like he was hitting four, I want to say. Is he hitting the back row? Yes, he is. So he's hitting in a cross section. Interesting. Very spicy. This guy and uh, old mate war god Liao Zhang won't be a pretty hefty hybrid uh, build. Um, what does he do though? Broken. Broken. 
Give a shield equal to 300% of Sun Jian's attack to allies in the front row and increase their defense for 20%. When casting, reduce all enemies damage reduction by 20% for two rounds. Broken. Deals physical damage when own defense is higher than the enemy's damage increased based off defense up to 50 percent yeah that sounds pretty broken um not gonna lie you probably want to run this guy with the imperishable set and focus on both the offensive and defense statistics of physical defense on this guy that's going to be very interesting because i normally wouldn't recommend going a uh, plus three on the soul forges but can you actually do that Sorry, I'm sidetracking right now, but uh, I'm excited about these guys. Let me have a look. Who has physical defense? Who has physical defense? Transform. HP. Physical defense. Plus 5%. Okay. All right. Well, I mean... It seems like if you ran this guy with a maxed out Imperishable Scythe for the attack percentage, or you decided to run him for the physical defense percentage, that could be a very interesting combination on this guy. And I feel like he's probably going to be potentially one of the main carry heroes for Wu. He's probably going to be the damage dealer for Wu. Him and Tashi Shi, I can see that. Although that shielding ability, just it just reminds me of a massive tank. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty pumped to build this guy. What's this guy's tiger? For two rounds, when casting, you gain a tiger for two rounds. Start with 100 hatred. Okay, all right. So he starts with 100 hatred. You don't need to run the mythic sword on him. And you gain 20% damage increase and damage deduction. And of course, he's got his when attacked counter ability, which is pretty atypical that Gen 4s. Reflect damage. Oh my gosh. Human picks you. Can you imagine that when it lands on this guy? 200% damage of defense. Wow. So for those that don't know, that is pretty damn big. And if you do run what I suggested, running the Imperishable Gear Set, maxing out his armor piece for the physical defense, I feel like he's just going to be absolutely a monster. Can he cast his ultimate twice? That's so broken. <laughs> These Generation 4s are so broken. Last but not least, War God. I'm going to call him the War God. He's the Warlord, though. But this guy just... I love him. Look at him. He got... He was fat, and now he's skinny. <laughs> Dong Zhao. Unbelievably cool. Um, of course, I am... Uh, what's the word? I am partial to Warlord faction. Han faction or Quan in the other nation depending on what game you play um but we're going to call them warlords why not reverse polarity hmm physical defense physical damage i should say to the enemy's front row that's actually not bad uh with a ability to cast taunt if target's hp is lower deal more physical damage if target's hp is higher Taunt chance is increased by 20%. When casting, reduce all enemies' damage increase by 20% for two rounds. Taunt can only perform a normal attack. So this is like Jiang Wei, but for like the front row instead of column damage with Jiang Wei. Interesting. You can triple taunt the front row with this guy. Hmm... That's going to be very, very, very annoying because I don't know about you, but if you're a warlord man or lady, if you run this guy slot one and you run Zhao Shi in slot two, you can essentially force the front row to attack Dong Zhao and Zhao Xi turns the back row into pigs. Are you following what I'm saying? And yes, I am fully aware that this guy is going to have massive evasion buffs and block chance. That's so broken. Chance to increase 30% if your target's HP is higher. And of course, you have higher taunt. Brutal Tyrant for two rounds. What's this? When casting, gain Brutal Tyrant for two rounds, uh, which restores hatred, yada, yada, yada. Taunt can perform normal attack. I want to see what this does, though. Sovereign of the Land. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is some 
badass animation. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. And Avarice is his personal ability. When attack converts 15% of damage to heal all allies. After a successful dodge, deal 400% attack, single target, normal attack to that target with the lowest HP. And he seems to have double ultimates. So if you run this guy with full evasion, i.e. dodge... Um, he's just essentially going to turn into a attacking machine. If you combine that with taunt, it basically means that the targets must hit him. Taunt is an unremovable CC, by the way. Um, that is crazy. That is crazy. Dong Zhao, I, I want to see just how high we can get your evasion. Because I feel like you are just going to break the game. Um, I'm excited. What do, you, what do you think in the comment section down below? Let me know who you're pumped about. Let me know what you think about my current analysis. I, I do not play the other servers, so I'm probably missing quite a lot in terms of actually uh, putting him into other teams. So I am curious to know your impressions about that too. But if you are pumped about seeing that, make sure you stay tuned. Annihilation event, I believe, is going to be the next one up. Followed by a celebration festival after that, which of course will include the new generation heroes. Um, if there is a limited time event in between then, I don't know about you, but I am going to be hoarding. Absolutely hoarding these tokens. I feel like I don't even have any. Do I have any of these tokens? Damn it. Did I spend them all on this account? You know what? I probably have. Oh man, I've done myself a mischief. I did myself a mischief on this account, ladies and gentlemen. I know for one thing's for certain is I'm going to be skipping every single Mythic Summons until I can get enough tokens to get some guarantees because I need to do two. I'm going to have to do Wei Yan. I'm going to have to do Xiao Pi. Um, I think Billionaire might be out. No, Transformation might be out as well. So make sure you are getting your gold saved up for that um, because, of course, you know... You know this, right? If transformation is going to be out, then in one month's time, we are going to be able to get the newest transformation. So make sure you're saving those paper shards and make sure you're saving those paper charms. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button, share this video with those that are thinking about joining the game. It seems like this would be the greatest time to jump into a newer server with the current events going on and of course i will see you all on facebook for those that say hello the ogs in the comment section and we do have a link to our discord everyone is welcome we are growing every single day make sure you jump into that and i'll catch you all in the next one